Greetings and welcome to the Monday Morning Vodcast podcast. Your pretty face is going to hell. How are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Um, this morning... This morning... I had a really nice weekend this weekend. We busted out the grill for the first time. Um, I had some chicken because I'm trying to stay away from the red meat. But I tell you, it was tough. As much as I talk about it looking like it's a slab of, you know, a piece of, of an animal, it smelled really good. I guess I could try to marinate chicken. I mean, I know it's not better. I know mammals aren't better than creatures of the avian persuasion. But, you know, I feel a little bit better about it. It's not a mammal. We've talked about this. I'm not going to go into this any further. But I forgot to use this thing, but this thing is fucking crazy. Look at this. I feel like the lord of the grill with this thing. It's like, it's so massive. It's like it could be wielded with two hands, not just one. It could take the head of a goblin in a single swipe. But the, the, the nice thing about this is, I know I'm overanalyzing this, but there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a, like a, a little bit of an angle around the edge, which is nice because it gives it that, I like the thickness of it. I've looked at a lot of these and a lot of them were super thin and cheap. And I wanted something a little bit sturdier and meatier and beefier. And this is exactly what I wanted. And, um, the edge was just a bonus. Like, it's it's just going to get under things so much better on the grill than if you just got a cheap, you know. That that was actually, 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 that was pretty cheap, too. I didn't spend a lot of money on that. I'm trying to come up with a schedule so that these aren't so random anymore. I certainly want to do more of these. Um, I'd like to do one vodcast a week and one vo and multiple vodcast podcasts a week. Uh, these are simple to produce. It's one camera. I don't have to worry about layering things. And now with a, with a huge thank you to Bob, uh, my sound will be very easy to deal with from now on. So I can actually just, you know, not, I can focus more on the editing process, not worrying about the sound because it's just a simple template I apply and I'm good to go. Another thing I'm trying out is I record through OBS software and this is actually the, the background is I'm using the green screen effect through the filter, the chroma filter, the color chroma filter, if you need to know what it is, um, in OBS, rather than having to do this in post, because if I can just do whatever the fuck I want over here and I don't have to worry about that, that's another step in the process that I can take out. And I can produce more content and better content for you much faster. So I was asked the other day, what is the difference between the vodcast and the vodcast podcast? And it's simply the voice of the show. It, it, it's... Um, which, which isn't a simple thing. Um, this is a much more somber. I usually record these literally first thing in the morning. I get up, uh, I don't know, about 7.30 or so, uh, get my water. And then I come in here and uh, I, it's a 50-50 shot from day to day if I actually have something planned to do or if I'm just going to decide on that moment what I'm going to do. So this is in most ways completely off the top of my head. I might have a subject matter I want to talk about, but the way... <laughs> The way my mind goes these days, you never know where it's going to end up. So right now, where it's going to end up is with some Carolina Reaper hot sauce in my mouth. That's right. First thing in the morning, Carolina Reaper here. I'm going to take a look at this. If there's a better image, I'll just throw a better image over on the green screen. And if there isn't, then there you go. My only problem with hot sauce is like that you find in the store, you know, like your, your typical grocery store environment environment is that uh they usually don't rate them in scoville they're usually just like hey this is a cheap shitty hot sauce and it's got four flames on it so get ready to have your ass burnt off or something like that it smells like a hot sauce it smells exactly what i was expecting it to smell like a little bit better than the last one though that the the woo woo you woo you woo you woo woo you woo you <laughs> had like just your typical hot sauce smell. There was nothing really special about it. This is, I can't quite identify it, but there is definitely something different. It's got kind of a pukey smell. Yeah, that smells, that, I don't think that smells very good, but. 
For your viewing pleasure, first thing in the morning, Carolina Reaper hot sauce. I hope it's not too hot. Oh, balls on my face. Shit. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> I get the hiccups. I underestimated it. Jet, jet, jet. I was fucking fired by mouth. That's insane. Holy fucking shit. That is no joke. It tastes awful and it burns. It burns so bad. <sighs> Holy shit. I gotta get milk. Oh, it's not fucking going away. Uh, this is going on like three minutes. I also forgot to take an antacid. I'm fucking sweating. Holy shit. This, you, you got some. Oh my god. If you're not completely satisfied. Oh yeah, this sucks. Made in Costa Rica. I should have known it. Gluten free. No GMOs. No preservatives. Mm, 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 mm. A lot of people say that almond milk doesn't help because it doesn't have the things that would be in milk to offset the heat i disagree i just tried both and uh the milk was gross i hadn't had real milk in a while i really give anything a score of one but that is terrible the heat all right i'll give it a two because the heat is it's worth writing home about oh my god i don't think you're gonna believe the fact that this is still going on it's really hot in in every way it's worse than the apollo sauce hang on it's real bad and it tastes awful it, it's the one of the worst tasting things i've ever tasted in my entire life if you're at big lots and you see the carolina reaper sauce for dollar fifty smash every goddamn bottle of it just so other people won't have to suffer it's disgusting Ugh. it it's awful and the burn is so much worse than the Apollo sauce. The Apollo sauce was intense, but with it came flavor. Um, this is just, this is ugly, gross, and disgusting. And I the heat just keeps coming back. It's like I keep thinking it's gone, and then I start talking. That's probably why it's happening. Remember that time I, we, I said we should start reviewing hot sauces? I'm going to instead build a time machine, go back and punch myself in the mouth and also show myself that bottle and be like, hey, don't just don't. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself this morning. I know um, I haven't. Fuck, that was intense. I, I should not have done that. I got to remember to not do hot sauce reviews first thing in the morning. I can't even talk right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let you guys go. I got a lot of filming I want to do because I have a bunch of ideas for the next few. Oh, I just need to get to the end of this video and I can't do it. I've got the three different Oreo reviews, the Hydrox, the Peppa Pig, and then the shitty knockoff. You know, it's probably gonna be bad as the same fucking company, I realize. Those uh, knockoff Oreos and this, it's it's Big Lots brand, fresh, fresh finds. I can't really read it without my glasses, but I remembered it because I'm smart. <sighs> All right, I think it's finally starting to die down. All right, I'm gonna quickly wrap this up because every time I talk, my mouth starts burning again. I can't even remember. I can't even think straight at this point. There's the three Oreos, the Hydrox versus, well, the the Frankenstein Hydrox versus an original Oreo. We're going to have the Peppa Pig review uh, or the comparison. And then the Fresh Finds comparison. I also will be doing another drawing video this week. Um, my friend Paul Lorenzo, he has a lot of bands. He's been in like 40 or 50 bands. It's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's awesome. But that's a lot. He, uh, he was, uh, him and, uh, a gentleman, Benny Goodman, and I, a few other uh, people I don't know put together this, uh, project called Lost Symphony, and it's, um, an instrumental, I don't want to say metal yet because I haven't really dug into it, but the metal, the songs that I've heard kind of sound like a, kind of, you know, that metal-y, metal-y sound. Oh my God. Lost Symphony, his band. I want to listen to a few songs. We're going to play a few clips on here and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you if I like it or if I hate it. <laughs> but I'll be honest, everything that Paul's done, I've never heard anything I didn't really like or something that I was like, oh, why did you do that? That's awful. <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that to me? All right. Well, if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile. Holy shit. My mouth is still burning. I can't get through anything. <laughs> Don't forget to make us. Don't forget to make somebody smile today. Okay? Excellent. I'm 29% Italian, so that's not racist. Hey.
You guys take care of each other, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs>